Hello traders, FS Pipcolette here. Today is Monday, May 15th, and I'm going to be analyzing the pound yen starting on the monthly, working my way down to the one hour time frame. So on the monthly pound yen, I still believe this is going to end up being a wave C, which I do think the most likely place for this wave C to go is 100% Fibonacci extension of wave A, projected out the bottom of what I think is an ABC of wave B. But we definitely could turn it to 78.6, but either way, I do think that we have a lot of upside potential left. So let's head down to the weekly time frame. On the weekly time frame, we're not bouncing off of Fibonacci level. We did make a move down over the last couple of weeks, but we didn't bounce off of Fib. We definitely didn't take out any structure. To me, the trend is definitely still up, and I still believe that it will continue up. I think it's going to break out of those highs and continue to make that big pattern that I was sewing on the monthly time frame. So taking it down to the daily time frame, on the daily time frame, we got impulsive down, looks like an A, corrective up, B, impulsive down, C. Price went right down to the 61.8, and now it's making a very impulsive move to the upside. I think that that is almost definitely the end of a correction, and that it will break out of this high and just continue the uptrend. So, keeping that in mind, let's head down to the 4-hour time frame. 4-hour time frame is where you can start to see the downtrend back here. Looks like an A. We have three waves up right here, A, B, C, or B. And this looks to me like a downtrend for the C. We have a turn right at the 61.8. We have a break of structure to the upside. I think that proves that this A, B, C correction is over. And that tells me that I am definitely going to start looking for longs on sort of time frames. So, let's head down to the 1-hour time frame. One hour time frame, uh, this is the trend right here that I believe to be a wave C. As you can see, it definitely broke some structure. That pretty much proves to me that the whole ABC correction is over right at the 61.8% Fibonacci level. I do expect that we will see some pullbacks, which is really good for us because at the end of those pullbacks is exactly where I'm going to be looking to go long for the continuation of this uptrend. I believe that this is going to continue to make that big pattern on like the weekly and monthly, that big wave C. So on these sort of time frames, I'm just going to continue to look for pullback entries for the continuation of the uptrend. So don't forget to join my free Discord channel. The link for that is on the screen and in the description. Thanks and happy trading.